you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. Take back your space. Stop storing old electronics you'll never use again. Recycle your computers, monitors, and televisions for free with eCycle Washington. This free program can be used by households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations across the state. Drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Please check for the drop-off location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org. That's one word, eCycleWashington.org, and click on the Where Can I Recycle link. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. There's a plastic surgeon in Miami who's now offering Botox injections out of his home garage. Okay. Yeah, you drive in, you get the injection, and drive out without ever leaving the car. This doesn't sound shady at all. No. Takes five minutes. Only costs you $600, everybody. <laughs> wow. Boy, I do, I do not value beauty that much. You don't want to get Botox? Do you know how much for $600, how many board games I could buy? One. Uh, yeah. No, not one. You can pack one on Kickstarter. I was about to say, well, what, do you, what do you get? It's an incentive on Kickstarter. Yeah. No, I mean, I could go really crazy on Kickstarter and get between four and six games, and that's going really oh, okay. crazy, where like everything's painted in gold. And gold. But wouldn't you want your face to look like a Snapchat filter? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Of course I do. Uh, here he is talking about his drive through Botox. Real, real quick. It's real convenient. It's like, you know, boom, boom, Botox. The areas that we inject Botox are the upper face, exactly the parts of the face that aren't covered by the mask. Oh, that's of course. You still want to look beautiful, even though a mask is covering your face. I think, isn't that the problem? In general, I think we're focusing on the wrong thing. Like, if I have to wear a mask because of a pandemic, maybe I shouldn't be worrying so much about my physical appearance and focus on maybe other things. Deep brow. Yeah. I I think that really is... People still want to look five years younger. Yeah. And then eventually look like a plastic toy. Yeah. Bless Bless you, my son. Yeah, I'm happy that I have always considered myself ugly. That <laughs> I'm really happy about that because I don't have to try. I, you know what I mean? It's like I don't yeah. even have to worry about okay, it. Okay, if you were going to get something done, yes, what would you do? Ooh. And we're not talking some like, you know, <laughs> low budget garage drive through thing. Like you're going to go see the best. They're going to take care of you. It's going to be top of the line, high quality plastic surgery. Circumcised for BJ. Oh, I didn't know you spoke on behalf of BJ's dog. I was just saying, I feel like that's where it's going to be. <laughs> well, I don't need to ask you now, huh? No, I guess we're done. Good. The little snip snip? Yeah. Uh, if, let me speak for Danny. I would get my head removed. <laughs> that's yeah. fine. Because I don't use what's in it anyway. So well, I'd Maybe get him some taste buds because, you know, clearly <laughs> oh, bad yeah. taste of pizza. <laughs> and he's, well, because he sprays his mouth with Axe. That is a, I never thought um, about that. I would get, I think I would get some hair. Get some hair. Yeah. Okay. I want I want enough hair to where I looked like the amount of hair that I had about 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. I want it short and manageable that I don't have to wa- I don't have to do anything to it. I can just get out of bed and it pretty much does itself. I was listening to a recent podcast. I think it was um the guy uh, uh Luke Gallows at a restaurant. I think it was him and he convinced somebody in his family that when someone gets hair implants, they get the hair from the bottom. 
<laughs> that's, from the, and that's from the, the hair, part of the body. And that's the hair that they put on a human's head to get it. How so, much hair does he think is down there that you could fill well, your head? Well, he did it. He was just he was just effing with people to see how gullible they are. Well, he said that to, I think, a family member. And then the next time they were at a family gathering, someone in their family or a friend of a family had hair implants. And that person started talking like as if they knew what they were talking about. Like, you know where he gets that hair from? And he said from the butt. And everyone's like, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. And everyone, he's like, he told me that. I was, and he's like, I was just effing with you. You're the idiot that actually wow. put it in. Wow. Like, that's, it's not like it grows like, like hair down. You know, you, don't, you can't like. Well, it would be very curly. Right. You can't grow long hair. Yeah, you can't grow long hair from that area. I mean, or, or it, it, like I said, or it's just very, very curly. It's funny you say hair because that was the one that like kind of popped into my head. I saw like some company that does like those. It's not tattoos, yeah. but they're like the little. They're almost like little tattoos to make it look like you have stubble. Oh, those on little your dots. Head. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen that. And I thought I, I, I'm trying to find it. I, I think that's a great idea for bald spots, where you still do have hair, but it's so thin. That if you had those d- dots, it would be dark enough that it would be camouflaged. Yeah, some company, SMP Inc. in Seattle followed me on, on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, let me look at their stuff. I mean, when you look at the stuff, it's, it looks great. Oh, yeah, it just looks like you have stubble. And it's great for, like, for like really women. F- yeah. I like how, like, you know, if you have thin hair, obviously yes. it's more of an issue for a female, I think, than a male or like a scar, whether you want to have it removed. And like, yeah, they just put little dots. And, but I like the ones where they'll put like, like a fake part in your hair. <laughs> oh, that's wild. <laughs> I kind of want to do one of those, yeah. but my wife would not be okay oh, with that. Oh, she wouldn't be okay with a fake part? But what's his face? The goalie for uh, the Sounders, uh, Stefan Fry? Fry, Fry, yeah, Fry. Oh, Fry, Fry yeah. has got it? I guess he had some thinning in like, like in the front of his hair, so he did it just to, to hide the thinning. Oh, that looks one. That looks great. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's and they were like, "Yeah, we weren't gonna share this," but he told us that we could share it because he was just so impressed by what they did. That's great. See, that's what I would. I. I I'd like to do that, but I have so many spots. It's like I think mm. it's just I'm fighting a losing battle. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, like my my wife is like I like you with the way that your hair is now, as long as you shave it consistently. I'm like, all right, well, what am I worried about? Every time At I see the end picture, of the day, well, who am I trying to impress? I have to say, I I I, I don't know if you know. I mean, I, I don't know if it's because you look better or I'm just used to you. But I I when I see pictures of you with hair, it's weird. I agree. Yeah. I agree, but I, 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 but I kind of want to have. I, I would love to like just grow it long once, just to like let it flow. Oh, you'd be like you, you, you look like the hippie guy. It'd yeah. be great. You would look perfect. like the skull. Then, then I can wear tie dyes in co- in confidence. Oh, but you still right. can. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I need long hair to have a, a really rock the tie dye. <laughs> what was the longest your hair ever? Like both of you ever grew, have grown? Oh, I'm a kid of the '70s. So, it was so really yeah, long. it was down by my shoulders. Oh, wow. Yeah, you. I had the mullet, and the mullet went. Down past my neck. Nice. And then for a while, I was obsessed with Mike Patton from Faith No More, so I had shaved all around my head except for like the top and let it flow over, and that went down to my chin. Nice. So it was just like, just cool. I want to see these pictures. Yeah. There's not many pictures of that style because my mom was very embarrassed by it, so she didn't take (laughs) any pictures of me, and we didn't have cell phones, so I couldn't take pictures of myself. And I don't have a lot of pictures of me either, but it was just long and stringy and straight. It wasn't a good look. There, some of my friends, some of my dude friends, when they let their hair grow long, it was it was impressive because they had thick hair that was wavy. Yeah. So it really it went not just down; it went everywhere. But it looked good. And my hair was just like spaghetti on my head. It's like you just dumped a bowl of spaghetti on my head. It was not good. But on the flip side, it's so nice in the mornings not to have to worry about any like I agree with that. Anything. Anything. That's just, why I, you, you, you know, you put me on the spot, but I wouldn't even do that if I, because like you said, it's so easy just to go, hey, I don't got to do anything. I get up. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready for work. <laughs> I've had the same bottle of shampoo because, I mean, do I have a little hair? I've had the same bottle, of, I think, for 10 years. I don't remember I don't, the last time I used shampoo. <laughs> I used shampoo for my beard. I just use soap all over, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I was told it's good for Lather your scalp, so I just never use soap for my scalp, mm-hmm. but you're probably right. I don't know what to do. There's probably no difference. All right, uh, Rev. What would you do if you could do if you would do any sort of uh, you know cosmetic uh, surgery? What would it be on? Probably lipo, or and then oh, ooh. good call. I yeah. forgot about that. I don't want to like get like super skinny or anything because I don't think I have a, the frame for that. But I would like to lose you know the gut and get that kind of cleaned up as well. I'm too afraid of that though. I've heard Why? some stories like uh, of 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 just bad botched lipo and and and, and infections. Oh, so it's like yeah, I don't want to give it a try. All right, Danny. What? I was gonna. I was thinking lipo too, just like to get like the for what the abs. 
Like he said, you're super skinny. Well, I know. That was the only thing that could Hey, this is his choice. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. No, no, no. I you shouldn't. Can, you can poo poo him. That. He was trying to suggest a, yeah. a, a, a circumcision for BJ. So oh, yeah. We can yeah. poo poo Danny. Dumb, and by Danny. the way, I, I would never get a circumcision. No. I would never. Why would I, you at this point? Well, you guys have no idea. And you have no idea. No, no, no. I, <laughs> you know, the, they've scientifically proven that you guys have been robbed of. Nerve oh, endings. Yeah, you've definitions. been robbed yeah. by this. So that's yeah, why but, I would never get it done. But you're, uh, but I feel like I have a better um, opportunities in life as a dong model than you do. Dong model. <laughs> I'm not sure when I'll need to do I that. Know, Dude, makes dong I, model. Don't they just call that a porn star at this point? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. That's Oh, you, oh all right. Well, you have cool. your standards. You'd be a dong model. You wouldn't be a porn star. Right, if I was like modeling something. Like okay. roses or... Roses, yeah. You're right. I forgot. There's an entire trade shirts. of dong modeling that I... That, I mean, all the catalogs, right? Is, is it, you know, it's the Sears yes, catalog. Look at this nice jewelry. Yeah, here you as go. As modeled by Steve's dong. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a lovely <laughs> blank ring that I want to buy for no, my sweetie. No, no, that's not, I'm not going down adult things. I'm just, what else with a dong model? You, you're modeling jewelry? and bracelets. Rolex. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can't put a ring on it? No. <laughs> yeah, put a ring on it, buddy. Scrunch. He likes to play the field. He doesn't want to be bogged down oh, with a ring. I get it. Okay, that makes <laughs> a lot of sorry. sense. It's got weird. What about you, Vicky? Uh, I think I would go for a nose job. What? Oh. Yeah. What? I've never liked my nose. God, your nose is actually very adorable. It's fine, like from the front. I just don't like it from the side. I feel like I got a bump, so I kind of look witchy. Let me see. Let me see the uh, side. But witches are cool. I thought. Yeah, but I'm not. Feeling it is it. funny though, like what we internalized yeah, right. as being an issue when outside perspective it's just like okay i mean i'm not gonna tell you what to and what not to do whatever makes you happy if you had the opportunity but it is funny like the perspective of all of us would be, just be like <laughs> okay sure i mean and it, like it started off my aunt took a really unflattering picture of me from the side when i was like bitch. 17 and so it stuck with me i'm like oh god i need a different nose like oh. i don't want to go smaller i just want the bump gone I, I, wow, I that's so bizarre. Down. That is very bit, bizarre. Yeah, shave it down. Yeah. I, well, I, I'm going to have to have a talk with your father to make sure that this doesn't happen. Because you I and mean, Sarah both uh, talk about what you want to change in your bodies. And as a father, I'm like, no, you don't need to do that. And we don't want our she little... She can do what she wants. She lives on her own. No. Yeah. She's, this is where you need fatherly intervention. You don't need to have invasive surgery to fix something that doesn't need to be fixed. And it's in your own head. And this is just based on the hypothetical. Yeah, if well, we're just given, the make ups Yeah. Like well, if, I want, I, yeah, but that's something that could be done. Like, I mean, but I'm not going to pay for it. Like, I'm I not going to spend the money. T- yeah. Tattooed into my head. Oh, no, I you'll want. be fine with dots. I, I suggest you should get them all over your face, too. <laughs> oh, just like just like a hairy looking shaved yeah, face. Exactly. I want you, I want you to look like Sasquatch. I'm not opposed to that. Okay. I'm totally down for that. I think yeah. my wife would say no. Oh. Oh. I think he's just telling you, Vicky, because Sarah wants so much stuff done. She wants boob point. implants. Yeah. 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 Oh, that, <laughs> Sarah, come in here. I'm, some textures were curious of what your answer was. Oh, that you've, you've you've hit on the head. It would be boob job. Would it? Oh yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, you don't think it would be like anything else? All right. Well, you, we'll see. One texture says, how about uh, you could go for um, uh, calf implants, just like Johnny Drama from my entourage. <laughs> that was a great storyline. Oh, it was the best. Yeah. God, Johnny Drama. When he was like asking other dudes, like, can we see your calves? What's he done lately? Is it Kevin Dillon is his name? I love that character. I, I haven't seen him in so long do anything. I, I, I think it's like Kevin Dillon. He's, he's, he's yeah. Dillon's son. He's, isn't his Matt brother? Dillon's brother, yeah. I believe. I think it's Kevin Dillon. I don't know um, if he's done anything of of like massive notoriety. I know he's been in stuff. He was so good in that role. I, he was my favorite character. I love well, Johnny. No Drama. different than like Adrian Grenier or whatever. Uh, Vincent Chase. Um, Aquaman, the real Aquaman. He should have been. Yeah, but like he's done like some like art house films. But for the most part, he has done nothing since. Or even Jerry. Really, none of them have done much. Yeah, really. The only Jerry one Ferrer has done some like Tyler, I think Tyler yeah, Perry movies. Yeah, well, and I have seen a couple of the other, but of course, the famous one is Ari, and I'm forgetting his real name. Oh, uh, uh, Jeremy Piven. Yeah, Piven. yeah. But geez, yeah, I feel like Johnny Drama should be in something. And uh, and 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 Eric E. He's oh, I've like, seen he's him. He's directed in stuff. In, he's directed stuff, but not like also not and Sloan. Like, I've seen in stuff. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I keep up on her. <laughs> well, that's She's a good actress. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. All right, your daughter. She's here. Okay. Oh, Sarah. You guys nailed it. I think the first one I would want for sure is a boob job. Uh, are you going crazy boobs? Or are you going like you just I'm two good. cups? Uh, yeah, probably two cups. Uh. Yeah. If you're gonna get the surgery, you might as well. I'm not gonna get them crazy large. You would do like the, the girls on botched. Where it's like, no, no, yeah, not like that, not like that, but definitely noticeably that I have fake boobs, right? Uh, and then definitely probably get it all like kind of sucked in, kind of like what Danny was saying. So tighten up, tighten, tighten everything up. I'm, mm. I'm 
already planning. Like, I'm saving all my money so I can do this after I have kids. You do know that, BJ. This is happening. And also, I'm recently noticing that I'm starting to age a little. I'm having a crisis this week with it. Why? Under my eyes. So I would definitely do this Botox guy if I had the money. Uh, so I'm doing it all. So by the time I have kids, oh gosh. it is all, I'm going under with uh, everything. You're going to be like a real housewife of Mercer Island. I sure hope so. They uh, look great. And they're in their 50s. They don't look great. They look some like some of them take it a they, little too yeah, far. Yeah, they look like they're not from this planet. No, some of them are still I, very cute. I, well, you know, with the, everything you read on the internet, I mean, that might be a good idea. You could endear yourself to the aliens if you look like you're <laughs> yeah. an alien. Yes, take me. I You'll look like one. You'll have to show me some of the housewives that you think look great. I mean, I, I have I don't watch all the shows because there's like a real housewife from every damn town there is. There is. There's Which, a by lot the way, of them. during uh, during this current situation, boy, those uh, did, I talked to Sarah yesterday. I'm like, do we care about any of these real housewife problems? I don't care what they're are because like the sound was off and they were like screaming or whatever at each other. And I'm like, I don't know what they think their problem is, but I guarantee you, rich white ladies do not have any real problems. I'm sorry, yeah. you just don't. Yeah, it is sometimes good to just watch them and kind of just get into their own drama. They have real drama. I remember watch, I came home one day. My wife was watching The Real Housewives of Dallas, and they were in a big dramatic issue of, with each other because one didn't know they were going to a ping pong show. And when they got there, she was mortified. <laughs> See? That's, I have- real, that's real stuff, BJ. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. Wanted, dead or barely alive. Your old or outdated computers, monitors, and televisions, working or not. Don't trash it, recycle it. eCycle Washington makes it easy. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations in Washington may drop off unwanted computers, monitors, and televisions at over 300 locations statewide for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. K-I-S-W, The Rock of Seattle. One of the things I'm missing from this whole corona situation is, in fact, the COVID subtraction of the massage in my life. Oh, yeah, I know. A few yeah. people are just really kind of feeling a little stressed because they can't get their massage. I've been doing the best I can with my own massage chair that I have at home, which is really just a massage pad that you put on a chair. Oh, there's going to be you just sit in a chair and like Sarah and her boyfriend just punch the back of it. That would be nice. That, 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 yeah, that, that's, the, that's the low rent, the low budget yep. version. Apparently, there's a hot new trend in massages called meat cleaver massages. That's right. Meat cleaver massages. This is where you lie down and the massage therapist whacks your back with two dull meat cleavers over and over. Apparently, it feels really good. Uh, there's some spiritual energy stuff involved in the process, which makes oh, sense wow. because it looks like it, it ha- this is going on in Taiwan. My wife is v- always telling me about all these different Asian chi energy practices that she has done to her, and it involves basically hitting areas of the body with um, needles or whatever. Uh huh. And so this now they're using meat cleavers to do this. It looks like they put a towel over you, so I guess okay. just to kind of also be extra careful. It's not skin on skin. No, and there they are, just like playing your body like like, like they're drumsticks. It makes Makes sense. My wife used to do it. She would hit me with a brush. Uh huh. She and somehow, some way, she, the 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 person that she goes to the acupun the the doctor Pokey, the Asian acupuncturist, he he would say, "Hey, let's throw some chi in the brush. Bring the brush, and you can then you just hit BJ in certain spots on the body, and supposedly it's supposed to help out." Weird. So uh, the cleavers must be the next thing to do. They've been. This one place says they've been doing it for 40 years. Never a client injured a, a, Taiw- a Taiwanese massage joint. Well, I'm watching the video. I don't know how you would be injured if it's a dull blade. It's just such a, I mean, hey, if it works, it works. Who am I to judge? <laughs> it just seems odd. Yeah. But then again, probably somebody thought at some point having little needles put into you was an odd thing. And now we've gotten to the point where acupuncture is so, you know, it's such a mainstream thing. Yeah. I, I would like to have the towel on me just because I bet those things would be cold. 
Yeah, you know, the cold metal, but um no, I mean, I, I've never been a massage person. I one time went and got like an acupressure massage. It was my buddy Brian and I went and visited him in New York. And he's like, we're out getting ready to go out for a night drinking. He goes, you know what? Let's start the night off. I've done this before and it's actually awesome. Get acupressure done. There's a place like right up the block from where I live. And, and then we'll just go out and party and you're going to just feel refreshed. I mean, that was so painful. Because that lady just kind of just like goes right oh, into that's your body. What, yeah, acupressure's a beating. Oh, man, but I, he was right. When we got done, I felt like a million bucks, and we got wasted that night. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Was so much fun. So he got you ready. He got yeah. you ready so your body could get destroyed even more. It was such a fun idea, like you know, kind of like relieve all the stress and then just go out and party. Yeah. Well, it's funny, the Qi Gong thing that I do on YouTube with this guy, Lee Holden, and basically it's, I do it all the time. He has me hitting p- different parts of my body, like, you know, he'll have me do the door of life. I'm doing this right now, the back between your... So you're putting your arms around your back and you're punching your back. Punching, punching my back between uh, my butt and the middle of my back, basically. I'm going up and down. That's the door of life. <laughs> Let's all do it, it together. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. on, Danny. Yeah. All right. You, you, uh, you don't want to do it, Danny? Wow, you're too cool, huh? Yeah, no. too cool. Yeah, so and then Danny's I do not punching his back. Yeah, and then I don't know what this is, wow. but then you slap your arm down. That's, from the, the, that means you want heroin. Yeah, and then you go <laughs> flip it over and slap it back up and go back up your arm again, and then go to the other side. And why I, doesn't Danny want to punch his back? I want to know that he, he sprays axe in his right. mouth. The thing he eats Dion's pizza. Two of the horrible yeah. things you can do for your body. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> and then I do this. You, you bang you, your chest and take a deep breath and hold it. Uh, I can, what does that do? So I, they're all just basically, you're just hitting different points of your body. You're getting the blood cool. flow. They say you're That's waking up the meridians, <laughs> unblocking chi points. I mean, my wife could tell you better. but So so I do that, and it's supposed to give you more energy if you go through his whole thing. It's a How lead. long does this take? 20 minutes. 20 minutes he has a punching min- yourself. Yeah, he has a 10-minute version, which is even quicker. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it depends on the storyline. Sometimes it takes me 20 minutes to punch myself. <laughs> <laughs> is that part of the video? Uh, well... No, that's the only part that you don't touch. Actually, I think I think I touch almost every other part of my body during this thing except that part. So I mean, there's all these different unique types of massages. You're doing that. I mean, I've yeah. seen like people do like. It's funny. I'll sometimes see somebody on TV and like you'll notice they have like those cup rings because they they go cupping. Have you? Oh, ever my wife that? cups like a mo. Does yeah. she? Does she oh. just do all of it? Everything? Oh, she does. And dude, it looks like. You know, she would get cupped, and then we, and sometimes they would cup her she like. She cupped by Dr. Pokey? Dr. Pokey cups her. Does Dr. Pokey do everything? Dr. Pokey is the yeah, man he of all, he's the man of all cupping. But Does he they, cook her dinner afterwards, too? <laughs> sometimes, though, they cup in parts of the body that you can see, and they leave these black and blue marks. And so yeah. they go, it looks like you've been in a fight. You With know, an octopus. Or, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. I see, like, some of the, like, I think Seth Rollins, the WWE superstar, he I, must cut from time to time because he'll be wearing something and you'll see in the back, like, these weird little circles. And, I'm like, oh, okay. For, it, for a second, you're like, what the hell's going on? What did he land on? Like a jar? But then you realize, yeah. oh, no, he's cupping. Yeah. It looks brutal. Like, like the aftermath. People swear by that. Yeah. My wife, that's, she says it was really been helpful in her healing from her car accident. Wow. Yeah. Has anyone tried that? Not I, cupping, no. I haven't no. tried it, but I've hooked up with dudes who've done it, so that's kind of weird when they take their shirts off. Oh, yeah. I'm like, are you cheating on me with like a squid? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sally the squid. Yeah, but oh, I mean, they, they also swear by it, so. The yeah. only thing I do, and some people think it's crazy too, is that the whole, I know Rev mentioned he's going to, when, whenever things get back to normal, you can go floating, because I've done that a bunch. Oh, yeah, floating. And whenever I mention that to some people, they're like, I couldn't do that, I'm claustrophobic. I'm like, he doesn't. I, 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 my wife's claustrophobic. She's tried it, and it's not at all a claustrophobic type of a thing. It's once you get past that fear of being in an enclosed space, it's like a pretty incredible experience. That's that, the thing. If you I can't, can't buy that. I'm not. I, I just. I've never been a fan of the whole massage thing. But for me, that kind of gives me the same body. You know, kind of like alleviates a lot of like stress and a lot of pressure. It's funny because when you if you if you shut all the lights out and you're floating, you don't feel like you're in any. You feel That's like you're in space. Part. You don't feel like you're enclosed anywhere. You actually feel like you're in this large expanse. You're I, in the womb of the universe. Yeah, Dude, That's one it. of the times I was in a float tank, and I know. It's, and granted, maybe this is because I've done some hallucinogenics in my life, and I was tapping into that. I legit thought I was just a brain in space, like I had no body, and I was just this brain floating into a dark atmosphere. Yeah, man. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> and that's kind of what they want you to get to. Like, yeah, this, that's what this, I'm hoping for. Like, you know, you've, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but in a lot of like the Eastern mythology, they'll just show these two eyes in mm-hmm. space, and that's supposed to be the real you. The awareness of the person who's thinking the thought and, that they're thinking. And then there's that part, like, is this what it's going to be like? Is this the afterlife? Like, you're just like this brain like, or this, this thing 
without a body because you don't you, you truly do feel like weightless because of the whole yeah. you're floating the temperature is set so that it's the same as your body temperature and once you get kind of past like the weirdness of that first few minutes it's a pretty incredible experience yeah you feel, it's like you feel nothing yes it's that nothingness it's such a good feeling on your body brain in space brain in space man and then when you fart it's cool oh well <laughs> that's i hadn't even thought about that fun part Rev, have you done it before? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I yeah, know if yeah. I, I did Fort a- Seattle a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I'm yeah, I'm very interested in seeing uh, where it will take me. Oh, Fort Seattle's from our old buddy, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Used yep. to be. He Used doesn't own it anymore. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean's doing something else. Yeah. Oh, oh he guys get up on it, man. I don't know. It's like <laughs> uh, self help stuff. So he now. floated away, is what you're saying? He did. Thank you. Straight up. Nice. Dude. Or- or straight across. I don't know how, how you flow. Wherever he wants to go. That would be one thing. Like if I had all, if I had the space and also the extra dough, uh, but we don't in our house. I would have a float tank. I know, like Joe Rogan, I think had one or has one at some point. But like that would be so awesome if, like, after a day at work, it's similar to like getting in a hot tub or a sauna. Dude, just, there's a just go and float for like an hour and just get a nap in. Some of the best naps I had were in a float tank. There are people that go in there and just to get real creative. Yeah, like this. I told you because you love the guy's name, Harry Palmer. Uh, <laughs> you just yeah. love the guy. I don't. Why did I love that name? I'm confused. Yeah, um, there's a there's a whole bunch of courses about basically how to manage your life, and it's called Avatar. And I took him years ago, but he came up with pretty much the concepts for this seminar that he's had for now decades, and a lot of people swear by. He came up with it in a float tank. And he would just, he would be in that flow tank, dude, like day after day after day, almost yeah. like that old William Hurt movie. If you've never seen Altered States, it, mm-hmm. that's where I first heard about a flow tank was that movie. And he would just have a notepad on top of it. He'd come out and he'd write stuff down, write stuff down. So, you know, a lot of people use these for so many different reasons. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I've heard people like they get like, if not a full night's sleep, but like a long period. Like, you know, I've done the hour one. I've never done longer than an hour, but that would be just insane to be in there. Oh, yeah. I just remember. And all the Epsom salt for those that don't know, because like, you're like, well, how do you, how, like, how don't you just sink into the water? But it's like 800 pounds of Epsom salt, I believe. And that's what keeps you yeah. floating. And it's good for your skin. It's, there's a lot of cool things about it. Hey, look at you. Somebody says, my wife and I will eat. I haven't done this, but that sounds like fun. Do a couple edibles and go floating. It's fantastic. And they mm. go somewhere where it's a, a whole room, not just a pod. Whoa. You so mean that, like, like you're floating in a room with everybody else? Or, the whole, or, or you have a room to yourself? Usually they're singular, so I would have to imagine that it maybe it's, it's just a, like a big tub that's just taking up the whole room. Wow, that's insane. That yeah. is sick. Yeah, Whoa. it's uh, Life Float in Seattle. Well, that w- Can I, you like have like a couple's one, like with you and your wife or your significant other? I feel like that defeats the purpose. Yeah, that one's called Bone Float. Yeah. Yeah. I st- I That'd think- be like bumper float. Like you kind of bump into <laughs> each other. Floats. Oh, I think it, this is in Seattle, this place? There's a place called Life Float in Seattle where it's a whole room, not just a pod. Okay, I, I would be willing to try that because that would get around the claustrophobia for some people because you got yep. a whole room at that point. Oh, and you go in like it's a pool, but then you get to float and that you can probably shut off all the lights just like you do. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, man, that's cool. Part of me wants to. Uh, that'd be fun to do it, though, with like somebody. I don't know why. Well, I'm not going to dissuade you, and maybe they will let you go in but with somebody. You're probably right. It's probably not. A good thing. You just never know what the people are doing in there then. Yeah, you're the one making bubbles in your float. Wasn't that tubs? I mean, it's pretty much we're talking oh, about the, the old tubs. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time. Never mind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, oh, in, yeah. the, in the float tank, I did get an accidental, and it was such a weird thing because it was yeah. like out of the water. See, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Like, I feel Rising like, I'm, from I feel the like ashes. I'm a sailboat without its sail. <laughs> You're a shark. Yes. <laughs> nah, not. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is the best float ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you were there with somebody else and that's going on. Oh, yeah, you get the room to yourself. They said there are no couples. Right, for the best. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. If I call Travis, will I actually see him or someone who works for him? Absolutely. When you come in to see my to my office, uh, when you first call in, my staff will try to help you with with any basic questions that you have. Uh, I can give you a call back, uh, but they'll schedule usually try to schedule you for a free consultation with me, the attorney, and I'll meet with you personally. We'll talk about your the basics of your case, and I'll take you through a question and answer session that usually last, an interview that usually lasts about thirty minutes. 
Uh, we'll, we'll get the basics of your financial situation. I can answer your questions, and we can talk about whether bankruptcy makes sense, your, uh, your non-bankruptcy options, uh, and how bankruptcy could affect you, what the process is. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian.